Have you seen any benefits in the long-term practices you've been implementing on your farm versus some of the neighbors who may have been on a shorter term or, or not using them? On some of our, so we, we put a cover crop down every fall, fall in corn silage, because anywhere from 75 to 100% of our corn acres are silage. Okay. So we, uh, we airflow rye on and then work it in with a vertical till. And that can be challenging too if you have a dry year like this germination and some years you could dump it on top of the gravel road and it'll grow with so much moisture so it's sure. kind of hit and miss but uh on some of our tougher soils uh, the the rye cover crop helps because it just it's got a deep root on it kind of loosens things up a little bit gets prepared for the next next year and the uh, and then on our on our seeding ground we don't put rye down there we put down winter wheat because we have had trouble on our direct seeding acres with the leopathy. Okay. Uh, that rye seed wants to spin off a toxin and kills its new seeding. So right. we use winter wheat where we're gonna for a cover crop where we're gonna seed alfalfa. So you still spring seed then with that? Yep. Okay. Yep. And I this year I did I did some well every year we do some but I, I no till some alfalfa and I have fabulous success with no till alfalfa. That's good to hear. We use a John Deere drill, no-till drill, and it, it really works nice. I guess if, if you're interested in learning more about cover cropping practices and some of these environmental practices this group is putting in place, you can either contact Farmers for Sustainable Food or uh, one of the members of the LASA group here.